Welcome back to C++ 23 in 3 minutes. Today we're talking about the Synod Library header, the stream library. So the Synod stream library has includes, classes and functions. So starting with the includes, the includes are all got to language support libraries. So these two are language supports and that's a utility one. So what is a class? A class in C++ is a user-defined type or data structure declared with any of the keywords class, struct, or union. So you see there's two class templates, one that have character types and you're going from source and liberation sequence of characters. So these are the string functions, uh, input output, numerical conversions, uh, range access, and literals. So we're going to focus on numerical conversions because they are functions within the class. The other ones are function templates, which are in other classes, or headers. So, strings library. The header introduces string types, character trads, and a set of converting functions. Class templates. C++ class templates are classes that work with different data types. So the string header has two class templates, as we said before. One for storing and manipulating sequences. And you're doing for abstract basic character and string operations. So now we're going to look at member functions, in particular the numeric conversions. There are two types of number conversions, convert from strings and convert to strings. So the first three functions turn a string into an integer or signed integer. So it's integer, long integer, or long long integer. The next two converts a string into an unsigned integer an unsigned long long integer. So the next three convert a string to a float, to a double, or to a long double. The last two functions convert two strings. There's a two string function and then there's a two double string function, which converts an integral or a floating point value to a string or a double string. As you can see on the left side I've got a few examples of the actual functions over here. Uh, in one now uh, we the String to integer function, which is this one down here. It's taking in all these elements and converting them to integers. So it shows down here 45, two positions. It's a gap and 45, that's three positions. A gap minus sign and 45, that's four positions. And then three is one position. So a string to integer. <coughs> will be this one here. You enter in the unsigned number, you get it to unsigned number. Also we got this one here. You have a string here and you convert that to a long long integer. This is a string to flow problem. It puts to years and miles. This is a string to double and this is a string to long double. The last two functions are two string and two double string. Here's the output of it. Well, that's it. Um, <coughs> thank you for watching, and uh, please like, comment, and subscribe.